Today's episode is brought to you by Resident Evil 2. Experience the thrills of the survival horror classic rebuilt from the ground up. After nine sequels and reboots that range from meh to please kill meh. God, scoop! Skedaddle! Get the f*** out of Dodge! Only one creative team can restore the Halloween franchise to its former glory. Kenny Powers and the director of your highness. <laughs> Halloween 2018. Get ready for a snazzed up reboot of the original. Or rather, a reboot of the original sequel. Or maybe a new take on H2O? I, I don't know, man. But this time, there's even more carnage. More jump scares. Oh, and even more of those stupid fake out jump scares that end up being something else. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. Gotcha. <gasps> Jesus. Can we just stop with that? It's like if comedy's tickled you to get a laugh. It's cheating. Mark, do you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? <laughs> Return to the world of Halloween, where the doctors are still shady. <laughs> the cops are still useless. What are we gonna do? Castle Halloween? <laughs> And Haddonfield hasn't changed at all, except for a recent boom in Asian food offerings. A banh mi sandwich. Banh mi is essentially just the Vietnamese version of a French baguette. Thrill as we reunite with Laurie Strode, once they literally bribe her to be in the movie. How does $3,000 sound? She's still haunted by that night 40 years ago, so she became Sarah Connor. A hardcore survivalist, convinced a final showdown is coming. With an estranged child she trained to fight, but while some families bond over brunch and spa days, Lori will bring her clan together the old-fashioned way by turning the tables on their relentless stalker in a finale that will leave you wondering. Okay, she had 40 years to design a trap house, and this is the best she could do? A shotgun and a room full of mannequins? And, wait a second, oh no, why are they anatomically correct? Guess it really is the team that made your highness. <laughs> Audiences won't need Activia to crap their pants because Michael Myers is back. You can run, you can hide, but actually you could. He's not much of a mover. Now say goodbye to the slasher you thought you knew because Michael is 40 years older and he's matured into more of a shover. <laughs> Hey, I get it, man. You hit your 60s and you gotta conserve that energy. But get ready to meet the real monsters in town. True crime podcasters. Watch these twits open the film by recording what would have been a terrible series, complete with tons of background noise. Having witnessed the animal in its captive state, this monster. Not calling ahead to secure their biggest interview. We're making a podcast pointing their mics at the subject's back from 20 yards away in the wind hello michael and recording their podcast on the 40-year anniversary of the murders instead of releasing it then come on hello anybody ever heard of seo Ugh, just awful the true crime podcast about the murder of the true crime podcasters though now that's a season of serial so suit up for a progressive horror film about women fighting back against the men who've traumatized them with the undercurrent that people with mental illness are scary and violent and should be killed or locked away forever. But it's easily the second best film in the franchise just by doing what the first movie did again. What Samuels is really talking about here is fate. Fate took a different course. while sometimes doing things the first movie did in reverse. Dude, what if in the next one, they switch it up and have Michael Myers hunt Laurie? Whoa. Wait. Starring Clint Eastwoman. Okay, Michael, say goodbye to these. You're next. Sassy Magazine Sassiest Sassy Boy. Obligatory Horror Movie Stoner. Sick. Dr. Numis. Mark Scarron and Scara Koenig. Or, um, 
you must dismember this. How did this get slayed? How about two dope screams? This American knife? Okay, okay, one more. Uh, uh, wait, wait, don't kill me. Stab on my haters. And this line, for some reason. I got peanut butter on my penis. Halloween 2. Okay, so when they make a sequel to this movie, are they going to call that movie Halloween 2? Because this movie is a sequel to the original, replacing the original Halloween 2. So the next Halloween 2 would actually be Halloween 3. And my nose is bleeding. This episode was brought to you by Resident Evil 2. Available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. I hear the call of the void, and I must answer. I'm a pretty unicorn. Admire me and stroke my mane while I stab you with my horn.